guys and welcome to this day in the life. We are getting ready for the hurricane and I was going to take you guys along because this hurricane's silly. But um, everybody's been freaking out about it and for some reason like I have not been freaking out at all about it. And so but now we're outside trying to get everything taken in because even if it's a category two a lot of stuff will blow around. So I'll show you what's going on. There is chairs being taken inside. There's trash being picked up. It's like my little seating area in the front. So you gotta pick all the chairs and everything from there. And if you will notice, just take note that they both have headphones and they're both listening to music and Anthony usually does this when he works but um, Ryan came to me and was like I gotta find headphones so I can I want to listen to music too all right so it is Thursday I want to say it's like three or four but you can tell it's like windy outside it's definitely cloudy and we live in South Carolina, so the storm is supposed to hit us, it's supposed to come in and come down and hit us, and literally where I live, it's going to hit us like right on. <laughs> so, the fun, right? Are you are you worried about the storm, Ryan? Eh, not really. Not really? Not really. Me neither. The only thing I'm really worried about is power going out, because we all know that I can't live without electronics. Tragic. So Anthony and I have lived all, kind of all over. We lived in North Carolina for a period of time, like about two periods of time actually. And during both of those times there was hurricanes. Actually a really bad hurricane that went into like a tropical depression came in literally like the day before we got married. And so we're kind of used to this, so it's not really a big deal. And... So yeah, even when it was coming in at like category three or four, we were like, uh. <laughs> so I think that they are now getting all the stuff in the backyard put up. So this is my backyard, guys, right now. And I'll show you guys like the sky. It's cloudy, but not, not crazy at all. Trees are kind of, kind of going, and I got, I have this little cheap table back here that somebody gave me, and then actually that umbrella is broken, so this works out really perfect. Hey! <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna take all of this into our garage and. Somehow, I think he's going to secure the trampoline to this tree, he told me. I don't know. They, as you can tell, they're fixing our fence. Or not fixing it, they're like finishing building it, I guess you could say. And so there's a pile of wood that I think we have to take inside as well. So, because I can see those just blowing like crazy. <laughs> Look at their both bopping their head. Oh my goodness. I must have the best guys ever. That'd be one way to get the table clean. Look at this. He thinks he used to be a marine or something. Oh, they're coming back. Another round, another round. Look at him. Almost as big as him. Look at almost as big as him. The 
the internet's watching, so do it good. This is a power juice pack that Anthony got at Best Buy like a couple days ago while he was still traveling. So he was out of state, actually out of the U.S., and he got this. And um, so this has been really, really good. I guess you can charge two things on it. So we are charging that up right now. So this one's charging too. Okay, so I know it's probably hard to see on the camera, but these are just tapered candlesticks that you get from Dollar Tree. So I, I literally spent a dollar on each one. And sometimes they're hard to find, so I think at one time I bought six of them just to have them. And then I also buy these from the Dollar Tree, and they're just the emergency candles. So I buy a whole bunch at a time usually, and I just keep them in my candle bin here. Oh, there's another one. And so the package says, and these candles, I have found that the tapered candles, so that would be like the skinny candles, give off more light. And this says that it's like four hours. And really you just need like a couple hours at night um, when you don't have power. So I have one, so I have one, two, three, four, five of those. Looks like I also have a lot of little ones from when like we've used them. I did buy these at one time and they don't work as good but I'll put them like on a plate or something like that but they do not work as good so if you're actually buying stuff that's not as good and I at one point I did buy a whole bunch of these and they do not work as good um, but I put them on um, if you have like candlesticks that hold these they do work really well um, I think I only have like a three candlestick and so it wasn't really worth it for me, but I do have those extra. I mean, who knows how long power goes out, so it's good to have all of this. Um, I do have a flashlight in here, and then these are something my mom sent me, and they're like glow sticks, um, and then you could take them with you. This was actually really good. Um, I used some at one point uh, with Ryan, and it was really good because he could just carry this around, and then I didn't have to worry about it. So, and there's all my little used candles. So, I know lots of people aren't advocate of candles, um, but I feel like for some reason my family loses little flashlights all the time. I don't know what it is. And my child is big enough that I don't worry about it. And honestly, like, I just put these places that he can't reach. So, even when he was little, like, I would put him up on my fireplace or up, you know, and really, if you have power outages and you have really small kids, they're probably, as soon as it gets dark, they're going to sleep too. So this is just all my preparedness right now. All right, so I carry a stash of batteries usually. Um, because my husband is like a tech guy, I don't know why. So I have AA, AA, AAA batteries. Um... I guess these are AAA batteries. For some reason, I always have some weird stash of batteries. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they come from the Dollar Tree. Oh, looky there, guys. More candles. So upon further look, I have found a ton more batteries. So apparently I'm a hoarder. And I found these glow things that I must have bought for... Um, 4th of July looks like, but Ryan will actually think that is great fun. I did find this whole pack of lighters, and I know that when I bought candles at one point, I did purchase, like, this whole pack. You can get it for a dollar. Um, you know, we don't use lighters for anything. We're not smokers or anything like that, so we wouldn't have that hanging around. So it's something we do have to remember to purchase. And um, so I know I bought this whole pack thinking that was a good idea in case you lost one here or there. I went ahead and took out some stuff that I thought 
maybe we would need if the power went out. So I went ahead and took out some ibuprofen, naproxen, um, some cough drops. And as you can tell, you can hear it in my voice. Um, I do not sound wonderful at the moment. Do you get it all done? Done, ma'am. All good. Did you pick up the wood? This guy thinks he doesn't need to pick up that pile of wood. What? Yeah, I'm telling them that you don't think that you I don't think that it needs to get picked up. You really think it does? I don't know. I mean, do we really even need it? I'm just saying that if the hurricane comes and it blows in any form, you're it, picking it up. Would it make you feel better if I picked it up? It will make me feel All better right. if you brought it in the garage. Right. I'll come with you. That is a good man, right there. Oh, I know, boy. Go do it. Look at my stash of supplies. So let me show you guys. I got this huge, thick book. Look how big it is. It's three books in one. Because one time we lost her, we lost power in a Cat Three hurricane when Ryan was like two almost three so it was about seven years ago and i read like a whole twilight book you know how those were like back they were so popular and i read like a huge one um so i was in walmart and i said what's on my prepared list i need a book so technically three books for ten dollars i'm all about it look at these cute guys oh my goodness I love them. They're so cute. I don't know what they're doing. Just pick up the boards. There he goes. Oh, he's trying to pick up more than one. That's why. You get that. It's a good husband when you know he's like, will it make you feel better? All right, I'll go do it. <laughs> okay, he thinks it's so heavy. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. He's fine. So I'm not sure what else we're gonna do on the hurricane front. I have no idea. I'm trying to think. We have got our snacks and water. Um Water was kind of hard to find actually. I usually have four cases on hand all the time. I have four cases of water. For some reason, I had it replenished, so I only had two. And so I was in the store, I found a six pack. So I bought just this random six pack. And I was thinking about putting some water in gallons of block bags. But now that it's um, downgraded to like a category two, I think I'm not gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna be fine because um, for the three of us, like the basically the two cases that I have and the little six pack will be just fine. I did go and get tons of snacks and munchies and all that stuff. I got Diet Coke. Even I wasn't sure if my husband would make it back because he was traveling and he made it back yesterday. And um, so I think Tuesday night, I ran out and got him like some soda because I was like, well, if you have to be in the house, like you can have a treat, you can have soda. And so yeah, I um, went and got us tons of stuff. My kid has been in the Cheez-Its. He thinks that's been the best thing ever. And so yeah, we're just gonna hang out and wait for the hurricane, I guess. Oh, he's carrying more than one. He's carrying two. You get him, he's trying to, he's trying so hard. He tried to put it on his shoulder and he couldn't do it, so. He 
might need Papa's help. Oh, there he goes. So he was trying to do it like him. He tried so hard. Oh, you know that fan? We gotta take out one of the batteries. Because that fan will run on one battery. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And so if we take out the other battery, and then... We can charge it? <clears throat> they're rechargeable batteries, and we can charge it USB. Okay, so why don't we charge it and then take out one of the batteries? Okay. Is it charging? Yeah. Alright. The coolest <laughs> thing about this fan is that it has a USB cord on it. So if the fan is charged... And it can run on one battery, which is rechargeable. But if the fan is charged, then we can charge our phones off the fan. Because that's a USB port. Isn't that cool, Pop Bird? That's pretty cool. Company, a company sent me this fan. And I have used it. Like, I was not sure about it at first. But I use this thing all the time. All the time. And Ryan uses it all the time. He like puts it in front of him while he does school and um, Anthony blows it on him while he streams video games or he'll blow it on the like the PS4 I think and um, but it has that big clip so it can like clip on anywhere and I just love the fact that you can charge your phone on it too so I'll leave you guys their info in the description box and they did have a deal going on it was like the first so many fans were free or something like that. I can't remember, but um, I'll write it in the description box. But it was really, really cool. I was so excited when they sent it to me. And I'll link the video too um, about where I tell you more about it because I thought it was really neat. All right, so while our things charge, you want to go get some food before everything closes? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... 3.30? Yeah, let's go get some food. Can we have an eaten today? Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. I slept till 1 o'clock, so. You flew, how long? You flew 18 hours? 18, I think. Yeah, he flew like all day yesterday and stayed up all night. And then he came home and only slept for like an hour or two. And the neighbor kid, kids were here and everybody was so loud. I finally had to like tell them to leave. But then he was like awake, so... He slept. He slept in. I woke up though like like eight and I was like good to go. So but my sinuses woke me up. I don't know what it was. So I think because all this stuff is starting to blow, it's making it worse. So. Ugh. But you ready to go get something to eat? Yeah. Yes go. So we're on our way to Arby's because that's what Ryan and I want. This guy, where do you want to go? I don't know. Uh, either I want Chick fil A or I want 10 quesadillas from Cookout. 10? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a snack, dude. That's not even the main. Does everybody's husband eat like a crazy Probably not. garbage disposal? Probably not. It's just mine. Oh, I'm so lucky. I was in the Marines. He didn't eat fast. He didn't eat. I don't know if that's like a. Oh, that's maybe it. Arby's is closed. Oh dear. Do you think? Oh, they got they got a couple cars. They got here. lights on. Okay. <laughs> Cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers. Uh oh. Oh no. We will be closed today at three. Oh, we <laughs> missed it by 45 minutes. All right, oh, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going now? Dang, they pulled all the cars in over there. Mm. It's only a cat two, man. It's only a cat two hurricane. Why is everybody freaking out? 
to some Luke Sauce Hurricane. This is a bunch of babies. Cat no, too. You need to go back and nap behind us. Alright, we gotta go find some food because everybody's shutting down. Alright, we're trying Chick fil A and they're open. We're excited. You can always get God's chicken. God's chicken never closes. Except That's on true. Sundays. Except on Sundays. It's not Sunday. It's just Cat 2 Hurricane, so we're good. <laughs> so, we can still get God's chicken. We can still get God's chicken. <laughs> the catastrophe. You want to see a beautiful sight? What? A whole bag of Chick fil A! Don't shake your head. You know it's beautiful. <laughs> we ready. This is hurricane prep. You gotta go get some good junk food to prepare you for the hurricane because you don't know how long things will be closed. So, Chick-fil-A. Oh, my tulip has to come down. This is what was on my door, guys. The tulip has to come down. I think I'm gonna take <coughs> this thing down, too. Can you guys tell I have not been feeling good? Maybe I'll just hang it. I think it'll work. Just hang it there. Oh, and my storm door. Oh, can you see the wind coming? Oh. The wind is coming, guys. Winter is coming. All right, guys. So, I think... I'm going to get my husband over here. We're just laying in bed, all of us. I think um, me and my husband are going to watch... I really want him to watch this show called Quantico, if y'all have heard of it. I watched a couple episodes the other day and I thought it was really good. I was like, he'll really like it. So I was like, you want to watch one of those? So we're laying in bed and we're going to watch that show. I think later we're going to have a Transformers marathon. Is that what we're doing? That's the game plan. Transformers. So we're going to watch all five. So that's our hurricane plan right there. But we are prepped, don't you think? I hope so. <laughs> I hope we got enough. I think we're prepped as much as we could be prepped, and we have we have tons of snacks, we have water, we have stuff to drink, we have Chick Fil A. We're good, and so now we're just gonna relax. He did all the heavy lifting. Yeah. Got all the things in. Got all the things inside. And. Now we're just gonna relax and wait for the storm. So it's like six o'clock on Thursday. Storm is due to come in sometime between eight and two tomorrow. I keep seeing different models. Sometimes they say eight, sometimes two, and that's just landfall. They say the worst of what we're gonna get is like Saturday, Sunday. So I will keep you guys posted. So look for the next vlog. And pray that I feel better because I'm just so congested. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye for now. You want to say bye? Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys.